Before we begin our program, here is a brief message from iSurgeons Associates, a sponsor of the 2021 Summer Reading Program. See them learn. See them experience things for the first time. See happiness. See an eye doctor before age three. See better, live better with Eye Surgeons Associates. Hi! Hi! Welcome to another episode of Color Your World, Be an Illustrator. This week, we are going to be doing art like Peter H. Reynolds, the illustrator. An illustrator is the person who creates the images in a picture book. They may use paint, pencils, chalk, pastels, or any number of materials to make their art. These images help to tell the story with the words, or all on their own. Peter H. Reynolds is the author and or illustrator of over 50 titles. Reynolds is known for creating vibrant watercolor painting, which he pairs with his hand-drawn images. He has created colorful and impactful illustrations for many recent books of inspiration, including Be You, Say Something, Peace Train, and Word Collector. His picture books explore important themes, such as confidence, individuality, and empathy. They inspire readers of any age to reach their full potential, whether it be in reading, writing, music, art, or other self-expression. His most notable work most likely is The Dot, the first in his Creativity Trilogy, or Create Trilogy, as it has been dubbed. The Dot is a story of a girl who doesn't believe she has the ability to draw until a teacher inspires her to make her mark, no matter how small, even if her mark is just a dot. The Dot has become such a popular book and movement that you can now celebrate International Dot Day on September 15th, a day meant for us all to explore our creative sides. Peter H. Reynolds is known for using watercolor painting. So the first thing that you're going to need is a set of watercolor paints. You're also gonna need a paintbrush to go with that. And you're gonna need some water to wash off the paints as you use different colors and a paper towel to dry off your paintbrush when you need to. Two more things that you're gonna need, paper for your painting and markers for adding some extra details. Because we are going to be modeling our art after the book, The Dot, we are going to start by making a dot. As Peter H. Reynolds would say, there's really no wrong way to make a dot. You can start with your favorite color, or perhaps your least favorite color, and see where your dot takes you. Just dip your paintbrush in some water and add it to your watercolor paints. If you notice your paintbrush is too wet, Dab it on a paper towel or the lid of your watercolor set to remove any excess drips. You may want to rinse your paintbrush off between colors, or you may want to combine them to make new colors. You may choose to add some extra lines using your markers or add none at all. How you create your dot is a decision that is all yours. Perhaps you just want to make a fun design or a rainbow. Maybe your dots turn into your own unique solar system. Halfway through making your dot, you may think it looks more like a turtle and give it what it needs to become one. Maybe your dot is created by the lack of a dot. And maybe you see a person form as your dot evolves. Or perhaps you want to try your hand at the famous dot that emblazons the cover of the book, The Dot. Whatever dot you create, just remember to sign your name on your masterpiece. It is your own work of creativity. No one else's will be exactly the same. If you would like to read more books written or illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds, you can find them at the Bettendorf Public Library. And be prepared. When you're done reading, you will likely be moved to be a more confident, resilient, and joyful person. We hope you enjoy making your own Peter H. Reynolds illustrations. Next time for Color Your World, Be an Illustrator, we are going to make art like John Bergerman, the illustrator. Until then, 